Hi guys, uh, Mike, Mike Spencer and Garnin. I'm going to turn you that way so you can actually see me, I'm not, I am looking. Alright, so the video you're just about to see is the third job, fourth job on This Monday Just Gone. Um, it, the rest of them I'll put together in one. This one, um, it just got a bit too long, so please excuse it, it's like at least 20 minutes long and that's even with speeding up. Um, I just want to talk to you a few, about a few things that happened on that one job. Um, nothing major really happened apart from I got there and I didn't. I did this job basically, um, basically just via like messaging, and I shouldn't have done it. I should have gone out and had a look at the job um, and assessed it really because when I got there, I realised that the house was prefabbed. Now I thought you know a, f a few inches of um, insulation and coating I should be hitting something whether it be wood or some sort of brick of some sort I'm not sure but as it happened even with 150 mil bolt which is six inches that I poked all the way through and couldn't find absolutely anything to attach it to um, now you, in the video you'll see the wall plate is actually hanging but as soon as something touches it it actually just falls off so Literally, it was a bit of a nightmare. I couldn't finish the job on that day, so I had to knit back the morning after. The end result wasn't what I wanted, really, because I was intended on hanging the... I always try and hang the gate from the wall. It's just a solid anchor to hang any gate from, basically. Um, so what I ended up doing is, you'll see I'm, I'm missing a couple of little bits of footage for some reason of us installing the panel on the left and actually finishing the gate off um, from the next day. So basically all I did was buy, if anyone see the meta spike, so it's a, a, a square pot that fits about three different sizes of posts. They look apart and they've got the spike on it, they're hitting the ground. Or you can buy them with a, a flat plate on the bottom with four holes that you can screw down. So I just basically bought a two by two post um, and screwed it to the floor. So, as I said, I used a pot or a shoe, I think they're called, a post shoe. Um, you'll have to excuse me, I'm having to watch Little and today, so I'll keep pausing this. Um, so, the, the end result wasn't what I really wanted and not really what I would be satisfied, satisfied with, but as I explained to the customer, there isn't a great deal I could have done. So, the 2x2 two two post was really secure at the bottom, but as they are, the there's just like three or four inches holding that. Well, I don't know why I'm showing you because it won't come up on to you. Um, bear me a second. Um, I lost train of thought now, but so yeah, wasn't really what I'd normally call it acceptable, but what can you do? The customer was happy either way. It gave her a secure gate. As you see at the end of the, the video, it all looks fine. It's just, you know, it moves a little bit um, just purely for the fact there's about four inches holding the bottom of the post and it's six inches in the air. So, you know, law of average says it's going to move. Um, so I hope you enjoy this film. I'm, well, video, should I say, this clip. I've got about uh, three more. Well, I'm going to do another video with three more um, jobs in it, which was before this one. Um, I'll get them edited tonight. Um, yeah, hope you guys are well, keeping sound. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, there's some more space, mate, because uh, we're going to have to dig some of this ground out a little bit. It's just quite a bit of a little bit. You leave a gate on there, because we need to board it up, mate. Unless you want to put it on the floor and you can board it up yourself.
you go to the van, just bring us the uh, tape measure back, please, mate.
So if you, well I'll come board it in a second. Oh, is it 
massive gap to, to your left, and nothing to the right.